It's Ben Linan here from Kingdom MMA. I'm here with your Phoenix Fight Night champion, Jake Boswick. Jake, are you feeling enough to fight? Yeah, I'm a little bit tired, but um, yeah, gave me a good war. A lot, a little, little bit more wrestling to what I thought, but um, but yeah, you know, I come come out with a win and uh, yeah, no, no injuries, so I'm happy. During the fight, I saw you looking at your corner, really getting taking in what they were saying to you. Like, how important is your team to where you are now? I love you, Pete. One stand, how important it is uh, to have a team. You know, a good cornerman. You know, Brad Pickett, Mickey Pappas, Kieran Kettle. You know, my striking coach, wrestling coach. There's nothing else I can ask for. Um, yeah, it's, got, it's really loud in there, so it's really hard to hear what your cornermen are saying. So um, obviously, yeah, stuffing head, so forth. You know, try and pay attention to what shots I could throw and whatnot. And um, but yeah, it's so important to listen. And I was really just trying to focus on what they were saying because it was really loud. So there's a couple of times I was really trying to look. You know, what are you saying? Um, but yeah, obviously, your corner is so important. So how do you feel now about which weight you're going to be fighting at next? Has that changed anything today? At um, the end of the day, obviously, I've done well at middleweight, but, you know, imagine this was a stone lighter. You know, I didn't have the excess bit of meat on me. Um, well, I'll perform better. You know, it's hard to say yay or nay because, you know, you've got to still bring your weight down. So performing when you're a lot leaner is still hard, um, but it will make such a difference with the actual weight class, with someone else being that big as well. So I think being at world weight should be where I'm being... I think it's you know, more lazy, if I could say, than anything. But finding a middleweight, I feel good. But, you know, again, another big guy. So, so that's 10 straight wins now, right? Yeah, 10 straight wins. My last loss was in 2009, and that was a light heavyweight. So, so what have you got to do to get a call-up now? You know? <laughs> uh, who knows? At the end of the day, I just go back, speak to my management, um, and just see what's next on the agenda. At the end of the day, I'm happy this year's done. I've got the win, got the belt, and uh, let's see what happens in 2016. Good stuff. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks for your time.